Okay, this is going to be a quick a quick tutorial on how to use Open Broadcaster software specifically for uh, Star Stable and just kind of a couple general things. Not an expert on this program. I downloaded it yesterday. So I'm just going to go through on what I realized though and kind of figure it out on it real quickly. So the website for it is obsproject.com and that's Open Broadcaster software. It is free. Um, all you have to do is download it. And I know it has Windows, obviously, here, but um, I don't know if it works for uh, Mac or not. I'm not really sure on how those kind of things work. But, um, yeah, so I don't know about that. But for Windows, I just download, I collect, uh, selected Windows Original, and then I downloaded it, and then I installed it. And then after installing it, you are going to have to... Um, kind of go through and change the settings in order to get it work, um, especially for specifically Star Stable. So um, what the program is, this is it. This is what all it looks like right here pretty much. And when you, um, unless you do like start recording, start streaming or preview stream, you will just kind of like a blank box. So it kind of looks like nothing's working, but it is. It's just kind of weird. What you want to go to is scene and if you want to do um, Star Stable, you have to uh, do add, and then do add game capture, and then I named it Star Stable. And then under the properties of that, you're going to, um, should explain better, right click, um, and then properties. And then click pixel time, ta pixel tails runtime 2010. That is the one you want to do. There's um, another one that sometimes comes up that says Star Stable. But I did that one, and that one did not work. You want to do Pixel Tales Runtime 2010. That is the one that will let you play, um, or let you capture Star's Table. So, and then after that, you do okay. And so then when you're playing, right before you um, pull up Star Stable, which I have down here, but um, I won't pull it up yet. Before you pull it up, you do um, click on the little check thingy, and so that way it'll record that. And then you can also, like right now it's under Monitor Capture, and when I unclick it, takes the monitor off and then you can add all kinds of other things too but I'm not gonna go into that just yeah because I still have to figure that stuff out still but the next thing you need to do is settings and this is uh, where all the settings are I guess that makes sense right <laughs> okay so at uh, first I did um, broadcast settings it originally had it on live stream but for my particular videos, I mostly do um, not live stream. I just uh, download them and then post them. Or do them and then save them and then post them. So um, I go to file output only. And then from there it says, um, it'll say users and then videos. And then it'll say dot FLV I believe. But um, when I, like it did, I don't know if that's for everyone. But for mine it did that. And then, and I recorded a thing, it like went to this seven second video thing that was black, that had no audio, and that you could only play on Windows uh, Movie Maker, and I don't know what was going on with that. But I figured it out, and um, what I went did is I typed in the folder name after videos, and then um, I just made up a folder name, you don't have to put that particular one. And then I do um, backslash dot mp4. And that changes it into a uh, MP4 video file, and then I did the same. I uh, changed .flv to .mp4 on the uh, replay buffer file path as well. Sorry, my Facebook thing is going off. Um, and then that was all I had to do there. Next, um, audio. If you choose to do. Um, a microphone for your recording what you have to do is go in uh, it'll normally be like under the sa disable I think but then you just choose whatever micro microphone you're gonna use uh, mine is a USB one so that's what I click and then you just do apply and okay or whatever and then so um, that's kind of just the basics for that and lastly this was the last thing I had that I had the most pro problem with problems with at first because I had to keep experimenting and figure out what was wrong and then I finally looked at a vi uh, someone else's video and figured out how to do this. So for this part, it's changing the quality of the sh uh, recording. Because when I had it under, under Star Stable, um, just like with the default settings, 
it looked really bad every time. Like, the screen moved. Everything was really pixelated. I didn't know what was going on, but I finally figured it out. When I got it, uh, when I downloaded the program, it had this uh, use CBR checked. You want to uncheck that, then change the quality balance to 10, then change the max uh, max bit rate uh, KBS to 6,000. That's the one of the best, like one of the better. It makes the video look a lot better. Uh, before it was like at 4,000 or 3,000 or something like that, but I change it to 6,000 for when I'm doing Star Stable. If I'm doing like a, um, if I'm doing uh, like an editing or a um, drawing thing, I might change the quality down a little bit to like four that uh, to like um, four thousand or just slower or whatever. But six thousand uh, seems to work so far good for um, Star Stable. I'm not sure if you can go higher than that or not, but um, you could always experiment with that, I guess. The next thing I changed is uh, use custom buffer size, buffer size at a thousand. That I don't know, can't remember if it came like that or not, but buffer size K bit a thousand for there. And then I think that was all I had to change. I didn't worry about any of this other stuff. Um, I think pretty much else I didn't have to mess with. I don't think there's hotkeys and stuff if you want to figure that out on your own, but um, that should be pretty much the basics. And so after you do that, and so now I'll show you how to do it on when you're on Star Stable. So you check Star Stable, and then um, I already had the program running, running, so I just I'm pulling it back up. And so then here it is, and so you're on Star Stable. One thing to notice though is when I first did it um, on here, the volume like kind of overrun, overran my voice when I was talking. It depends, I guess, like on the microphone and whatever the settings. But in case like you do, uh, if you are doing a voice. Thing with Star Stable and your voice is being drowned out by the sound of the game. You click on the cell phone thing on Star Stable, you go to options, then you go to audio, and then uh, you change like the master volume down a little bit and kind of just play around with that and figure out which um, sound to use to make your voice be heard. Or if you don't want any music at all, you could always just take it all the way down so it's just your voice or just a little bit or whatever. So that is the basics of that, and um, I actually just went out of Star Stable, and I don't know why, but it like freezes for some reason on my computer in a way. But um, all you have to do is uncheck the Star Stable box in order to like get back to your monitor if you want to get back to your monitor monitor capture to continue whatever you're doing. So um, I hope that was helpful. Like I said, I know I'm sorry, not like an expert on this program, but at least I hope that kind of helps if you want to do Star Stable game capturing and so now that's how it works with that i have not tried this with um other, other like computer games and stuff um i've thought about maybe doing uh doing commentaries on other you know horse computer games or something later maybe i'll have to figure out like what kind of settings i have to do for that but i don't think it would be too difficult to figure out so that is that if you um need any more tutorials or anything relating to this or star stable or something uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know if you want to know if you want to see more uh, star stable videos from me by the way because I could totally do that if people are interested in that so uh, bye guys